I've been practicing. Kabeha. What did you be? Wabla J. Kabeha. Awe Master Gunners and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for pulling through. My name is Sheldon Zam and I am talking to the community of South Africans today about the name change in Port Elizabeth. This video is made to share the perspectives of South Africans so that we can collectively be educated, so that we can see where everyone is coming to, find a middle ground and move forwards. So without further ado, let's take a listen to what the South Africans have to say and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more awesome South African content. Awe. So what are my thoughts on the proposed name changes happening in the Eastern Cape? Can we all just address the fact that we can't afford enough vaccines for everyone in this country, but we can afford, yes, you guessed it, to change the name of Port Elizabeth. Uh, thanks Sheldon for this. Um, you know, a name gives everything meaning um, and we as Africans, we believe in names. So Port Elizabeth is a, is, a, is a name of a queen of England. And so by virtue, we, it means we adopted Englandness, if I may say. So when we are calling it Grebecha, we are bringing back the originality of the place and the Africanness thereof in it. Hey, what's up, Sheldon? Um, so I'm sitting in my video on the new uh, name change for Port Elizabeth. Um, so I... I believe it's pronounced Kobecha. I've been practicing. I don't know if that's correct. Um, so my views is that I don't really mind the name change at all. But my problem is that it's going to cost so much money to to change the name, um, especially on all the infrastructure around the Eastern Cape. And that money could be used for many other things like food parcels or uh, housing infrastructure and stuff like that. So I think it's a bit of a waste of money from the government but yeah i don't have a problem with the name change or anything like that uh, those are my two cents cool well i've always been of the opinion that governments shouldn't change names of places that they don't need to change i do understand there are some situations where that has to happen for example if a place was named after someone that was super racist or a generally bad dude yes then you definitely need to change the name but there are times, or another example would be if a name does not represent the people that live there. For example, a place being given an Afrikaans name where everybody that lives there is Zulu, for example. However, I do think that sometimes it's just a waste of money for you to change names of places for the sake of changing names of places. Especially when everybody is going to call it the old name of the thing anyway. Google says this. GQH Burra. GQH Burra. I say no Burra. No Burra. No Burra. I can't do the clicks. So. And it doesn't really do much in terms of building the nation. If you are changing a name, it must be a name which the people in the community agree to and the people in general that are going to say that name are able to pronounce it. For example, I cannot pronounce the new name. So if you know how to pronounce it, please let me know. Hi. Um, yeah. So my opinion on the renaming of Port Elizabeth or places in South Africa, for example, Klobecha, um, honestly, I don't even know. Anyway, um, I agree with um, what one of Sheldon's friends already said on his status is that like it's going to cost the country so much money to pay for renaming um everything in the country like renaming or doing the new logo for nmmu for example cost them so much money i don't even know how much it's going to be to change names of cities and places 
someone had to ask me where do I stay, I'd be like, yeah, I used to stay in Port Elizabeth. Now I don't even know where I stay because, quite frankly, I'm not going to try and pronounce that word every time someone asks me, where do you live? <laughs> so we are bringing Bebecha back to its originality and we are giving it its identity and that the people of Grebecha might find pride in Grebecha. We must not put uh, ourselves uh, only in our shoes, but we must put ourselves in the, in the shoes of the people that experienced apartheid, that experienced um, the, 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 the Boer Wars, that experienced all that was taken from them, not only their culture, not only their, their, their identity, but also their names were taken away from them. Instead of being Sakumzi, they were given Petrik or what, whatever the, the case might be. So we are now rearranging or returning back things to their original order, as it were. One of the most controversial things about Pretoria at the moment is how they're wanting to rename it to Swane, if I'm not mistaken. Like That's the name people want, like the government wants to call it. The people don't want that. I've spoken to a lot of people about the rename. Nobody wants Pretoria to change its name. So I don't know why they're trying to do it with Port Elizabeth. Okay, so I just looked it up, and and this is, I have not heard anyone say it, but it starts with a G, and it's got a Q, and as far as I know, in Plosa, a Q is a So, let, let's hear, here goes. Gabera. Gabera. I, it sounds like I'm, I'm, uh, it sounds like I'm casting out a demon. I do apologize to all of the Tosa viewers. I'm so sorry. So, so very sorry to all the people living in Gabera. <laughs> we know the history of South Africa. We know that um, uh, colonizers colonized uh, a, a huge part of Africa. And um, one of the things is people do not want to live in their city under a land named after colonizers who we do not agree with, who taken land and did and hurt a lot of people um, in that progress. So there's that. And in terms of taking land or having a different name is kind of an idea of saying we're taking our freedom back. We're living in our own land because a lot of things are done in our land that a lot of people do not agree with, you know. Um, so there's that perspective, right? There's the perspective of um, economy, right? Name changing comes with money. Um, but if you're talking about the land conversation is, are people skilled enough to continue raising up money for land? Because I don't think there is. Number two, the economy. I searched now on my laptop, 2,270 United States dollars converts to, that's how much to change the city, converts to uh, 35,000 and something rands. Um, it's a lot of money. Then it's begging the question, what is our priority as a nation? That is, that is my, my two cents. I'm probably going to be calling it PE for a while, or now I'm probably going to call it Q, not PE, Q. Let's go to Q this weekend. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts? So what do I have to say about all of this? Because that was a lot of perspective. And thank you so much to each and every one of you who sent me a contribution and who shared your perspective so boldly for us all just to share and discuss and work together from. Thank you so much. I think that we are where we are now. The money has been spent. Names sometimes change and it can be a good thing. Um, it also can be that money would be more practically uh, beneficial if it is invested straight into some communities as opposed to a name change. Does it mean more to those communities to have a name change or would they have rather have had food? I guess we would need to go down to Port Elizabeth and find out from the people in the Kasi, everywhere. We want to speak to people everywhere, um, but specifically those who are directly impacts the impoverished, the people who can't afford things and who maybe wouldn't care so much about a name change. We need to speak to everyone. So in the next few weeks, I'll be going down to Port Elizabeth and doing some journalism and interviews for you. Um, I think that we should embrace the name change. Personally, it, it has happened. Learn how to say it. It's difficult. Like, I thought I could say some closer words, but yay. Sure. 
so that's it um pe or are we going to call it q like 10 says thank you let me know your thoughts in the comments below and share this video i make these videos to educate us and find a way for us to work forwards together that's what my heart is about i try and do that on my channel subscribe and you will see the journey that south africa goes through through my eyes because things are already changing and it's exciting thank you cheers guys India ek lebe ga kontre nekan